crispy coil. Look who it is. <laughs> Jake. That was New Year's, Jake. You, know, you should have seen Jake on New Year's, yo. There's this bitch that lives next door, and by bitch, I don't mean fine fe female. I mean, like, female dog type shit. We think she's a poodle. Um, she looks like a Spanish chum. You know what I mean? Me and Jake love, love some Latinos. Anyway, shout out to Jake. You know what I mean? Look at him, dude. He's all hung over from New Year's. Dude. We poured up, we poured up Chrissy in his bowl. Jake, how was that, Chrissy? Yo, tell tell YouTube how you been. Yo, YouTube, this is straight up Jake Ball. They call me Jake Blues, cause kids get the blues after I get done. Straight up mean mugging. I got the meanest paw game. This side of Philadelphia, you're one nothing. Yo, I'm about to roll out real quick. Yo, crispy, I'ma go. I'ma go downstairs, all right? Yo, Jake, word up. G give me a high five. All right, okay, player. We had a good Christmas, guys. Jake got a big ass bone. Jake, where's mommy? All right, uh, let's get into it, guys. Top kicks of 2012. I got mad sneakers. I haven't been doing videos, man. And I've been getting all these messages like, Crispy, are you alive? Crispy, you ain't made a video in 13 years, son. Like, Crispy. Shout out to J-Star. He got me back on my uh, on my shit, man. I really have been letting this thing slide. Um, so we're going to get into it like this. We got Jake out the way. I got 10 pairs and 5 honorables. You know what I mean? Turn on. Let's get it. Big shout out to everybody out there making videos. I've been watching all the best ofs. If you're going to look for a bunch of Jordans, uh, this is not the video for you. Um, but, uh, you know what I mean? Hey, it's still a good video. Anyway, how's everybody been doing, man? Let me put up my gum out of my mouth so I don't talk like a $4 hooker, you know? Anyway, Air Max 90 Primo. These right here, probably the most slept on shoe, Air Max, I should say, of the year. These made the clearance racks. They kind of got that that Louis Jasper feeling, this real ill, uh, like a, I'm like throwing them around and shit. I'm like Sanchez, butt fumble type shit. Shout out to Mr. Nike SB. What happened to the Jets? Anyway, I'm not even going to talk about the Eagles. Real ill shoe, man. Crazy, dude. Let me turn this down. All right. That's uh, honorable one, number one right there. I'm going to try to go through this fast. Now, I don't want to make these all New Balance, because you guys know how I do. 577. Right here, we got a... a I'll just take one out. You don't need to see both, right? Sneaker and stuff. 577 Milk Crate in the gray colorway. Materials off the meat rack. Delicatessen status. You got the little flimby tag right here. Milk Crate Athletics tag. 3M, mixture of all kinds of really nice uh, buttery new bucks. The leather on the toe cap is illegal in 36 states. Literally, if you roll into Texas with them, you might get held up. Not by a dope fiend, but by a cop. That's how, that's how ill it is. Sneakers and stuff. Here's the other one. Shout out to my man, Joey New Jers. Come on back up to the East Coast, son. SNS, you got the Milk Crate St. Patch. I love that green right there on the end. It's a really, really nice new buck. Like a, or a short-haired suede. 3M hits. This, this yellow right here is a leather. Oh, it's all that. 3M tongue. SNS on the inside. Came with three pairs of laces, and it's got this little purple on the back. Crazy, dude. So that's honorable. Number three. I got two more honorables, and then we'll get into the top ten. I already got four minutes. I don't want to make this too long of a video, you know what I mean? 1400 Obviously, this is a J. Crew. Guys, if you can get yourself a pair of J. Crews, I suggest it. 1400 made in USA. Orange, plush leather right here. Danny DeVito, plush leather right here, straight up. Um, you got the, the gum bottom. I love any gum bottom. Bubblicious bottoms are off the meat rack with heat sacks. Known to peep back, you know what I mean? Oh, man, look at that. Dude, 3M on the back. Classic, classic shoe right here. Love all the uh, the J. Crews. I believe I have three pairs now, but that's like my favorite one, the, the cork. 
and customs. I made uh, five customs, I believe, this year. I'm not going to show them all. This is my favorite. They're probably the most simple. My New York's Knicks colorway, 3MN, blue, orange, black guts, simple bottom. Just love this shoe, man. Timeless orange laces. All right, so that's all the honorables right there. Let's get into the top ten. Drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now about to witness the strength of crispy knowledge. Boom, boom, boom. Now, everybody out there who's making these videos, man, I love them, dude. I don't know how to edit, so I do this all in one take. This is all freestyle, never written, never bitten, always original. You know what I mean? Original Bobby Johnson status, apparatus, more Winston Cassius, C's rolls a mass in the pocket with the nine, roll up the whole dime as my seats recline. I want a presidential rollie, so I crush MCs like guacamole, making Robin scream holy moly. What just happened right there? Dude, I think I... Wow. ADHD, I make that look like a part-time job. Anyway, when this shoe dropped, it was a problem among problems. These shoes are that redhead from that movie Problem Child back in the day. I know you saw it. We all saw it. Steve Martin, I believe, was the pop duke. Duke of Reef. Let me turn this radio down because I'm about to get medieval on this video. We got six minutes in. I'm going to knock these ten shoes out like I was... Like I inherited these shoes to fucking show you guys. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out. I love giving shout outs, man, because I, I really like where the sneaker game's going right now. Um, I really like how everybody's getting along, man. I hung out with Logan J. Bay. Shout out to Logan J., man. Real, real good time. We hit up a couple sneaker spots. Soul Control. Get back to the kicks, though. You got like a gold on the bottom right here. I love that hit. I love the fact that these shoes have a history. You got the Nike Air on the inside. I haven't worn these yet. I love just old school Nike basketball, man. You can't beat it. Just for kicks 212, man, down there in Florida. His Nike basketball collection is absolutely disgusting. And disgusting in a good way. You know what I'm saying? These are not in any order. Just because like uh, you know, like I'm not as intel I'm not intelligent enough to count to ten, so there might even be eleven in this video. You know what I mean? Stupid dope moves. I bust the stupid dope moves. All right. I shouldn't be taking this long to do this, but it is what it is. Calves, fours. You thought I was going to pull out the uh, the breads, but no, I like these better. See, you know, of course I love the bread. I got two pairs of them, but this right here, orange bubble, blue bottom. I like it. That's an original lifestyle colorway. I believe Carmelo, because he played on the Knicks, got all these, you know, color... I know he's supposed to be the Cavs, but come on. That says New York Knicks all over it. You know what I mean? Love it. Could do without the hang tag. I don't know why people get mad when they don't have them. Like, what are you going to do with that? We all have, like, ten of them. You know what I mean? Orange on the inside, orange on the back. This shoe is completely ridiculous. The quality's great. Bravo to, uh, to Jordan Brand. That's the only Jordan in this uh, compilation. Saucony. Right here. An exceptional sneaker. Um, you got the little brown paper in there. Pickyourshoes.com. Thank you to them for making this possible to get. I put the white laces with the red tips in. You got the gum bottom. The quality on this material. Shout out to Amazon 25 He hit me with the link to these. Came with a bunch of laces. But um, all in all, one of my favorite shoes of the year, man. This shoe is incredibly comfortable. Guys, broaden your horizons, man. Grab a Salkany. Grab a New Balance. You know what I mean? Well, everybody's grabbing New Balance now. What am I saying? Um... But yeah, great shoe, alright? Right here, we got an SB. I'm getting all kinds of kicks up in here. This is one of the best SB releases, I think, since the Skunks. Now, I didn't get the Skunks, because I was sleeping like a newborn baby. Got, like a newborn fuck. Is he dead? What the fuck you mean, is he fucking dead? Laying there with all types of blood coming the fuck out. Like a newborn fucking baby, got. Anyway, look at this shoe. You got the, um, the, oh, it's just incredible, dude. I can't even go into that crack leather, or like, from the, um, the shoe goos. You know what I mean? The shoe is just, it's unbelievable. You got the Kentucky Derby horse hair, you know what I mean? Oh, look at that, dude. It's kind of like goat hair. You got his face in the tongue. He's like, come here, kid. Let me get up in that ass. I know you stole your mom's purse. And then you went to the comic book store and you bought that Batman year one graphic novel with the money. And then you came home and you hid it under your bed. Yeah, I know you did that, kid. I know you did that. Run that. Run that. That's my Krampus voice. That'll go down in history as the best, uh, the best interpretation of Krampus ever. New Balance. 996. You're probably thinking, Crispy, this is a, a, a GR New Balance. 
Did you see all the LeBrons that came out this year? How could you even, how could you even put this in here? And I'm like, guys, because I like these better than the LeBrons. This shoe right here reminds me of UMass. Reminds me of like old, early '90s, late '90s gear that I rocked. This burgundy right here with the gray. You can't get a better combo, man. Super soft, plush guts. New Balance, established 1906. Were your sneakers being made since 1906 and not changed hardly at all? No. 3M on the back. These 996s are extremely comfortable. They're fucking elegant. You know what I mean? You could come walking out of a sewer with these on and stunt. You know what I mean? These are straight up crazy, cuz. Can't beat that. Alright, we got a Reebok. I'm getting all brands in this here. Cause I'm, you know what I mean? I, I delegate my... Uh, my kicks, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't support just one brand. I do support one more than others, but I'm always going to be a Nike head slash whatever head, you know what I'm saying? But Burn Rubber really outdid themselves. This black material, this leather ostrich, this this short haired like fuzzy type burgundy thing, the Ron Burgundy in the front. Shout out to Fomer Simpson if you want to see a review, peep that. But this is the old Detroit Pistons colorway, Apollo Young Inquiries. Amazing shoe, man. What else can I say? All right, this shoe right here was a tough cop for a lot of people, man. And uh, I know a lot of people paid a lot of money for it. Um, this right here is the New Balance Alpine Guide. It's got the blizzard bottom. This is like that Helly Hansen Columbia rain slicker with some Carhartt pants on. You know what I mean? With the snapback back when snapbacks were popping, you know what I mean? Before Tyga and Chris Brown decided to tell everybody else they were popping. Yeah. You won't you won't see me in a snapback ever. Now I'll wear a polo strap back, but you know what I mean? It's it's ran its course. I already did the the uh, snapback thing, but this shoe right here is amazing. Quality, roll bar, you know what I mean? You can you can see our other videos on them that go into detail. Got this shoe yesterday, just came out just in time. It is an OG Nike Air Max 95. Now, why is this better than all the other 95s I own? I have two other pairs. History of Air and I have the 09. But this one is the closest to the original. The colors are darker on this on this line right here, on these lines. My opinion, um, the, the midsole is even darker. You have the old school, a plush insole. The 3M, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like pearlized like the older ones were. It's a different 3M, too. If you have a chance to get these, man, it's definitely worth the 155. And the out, the swoosh, on, the swoosh on the back is outlined. The other ones are just stitched. Concepts. This is my last New Balance of the top ten. Pull out one. Incredible shoe. Another Fomer Simpson great review. The bottom is not even just a gum sole. It's gray in the gum. It, it, you know what I mean? The sand. Three color blues for the ocean. I think this shoe right here made people see New Balance as a force to be reckoned with. Like, this shoe right here walked up to Nike in a parking lot and was like, Nike, you know what I mean, run that nut. And Nike was like, yo, hold up, yo, hold up. And Nike stepped back, took a couple swings, you know what I mean, and, and they're still rumbling. But New Balance definitely gave him a black eye and showed him that, like, look, quality, comfort, dope colorways, and, you know what I mean, made in America, made in UK. Even their Asian shoes are made incredibly well. Um... Even, you know, the generic $60 uh, 574s, people even like them, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's unfuckwittable what New Balance did this year, and I think they're going to have a bigger year next year. Shout out to DJ Mars, man, my homie. Mars 404, check him out. Right there. And last but not least, people are going to be like, Crispy, a Kobe? Let me tell you a little story real quick. I know I'm up to 14, but Kobe Bryant, when he played the Sixers in the finals, he got tickets for his friends and family. And he told them that he didn't want them to have the tickets. Why, you ask? Because he'd rather have those seats empty than have Sixers fans sitting in them. That made me so fucking bilious. Like, I couldn't even... The erroneous nature of this mother effort. Like, how could you just say that to the dude you grew up with? You're not even going to let them go to the finals? Like, what? Anyway, I refused to buy Kobe's after that. I bought one pair of fours. But this shoe right here... I saw one dude's video. He said this was the ugliest shoe of the year. Um... I don't know if you smoke crack and eat Xanax for breakfast, but if you do, that makes sense to me. Um, but if you're an, a normal human being, sneakerhead, this shoe is... F oh my god, I don't even want to curse. That's how uh, glorious this shoe is. Like, the, the tips, the weight, it weighs like nothing. This is like a, a box of tissues, you know what I mean? I could wear this around my neck. 
the bottom, you got this new like glass carbon. Um, the inside is all foam, lunar line. You see, it's like a mesh. Uh, this is supposed to be like the Velociraptor Dinosaur Junior Bottom, or <laughs> the Velociraptor Dinosaur Junior Snake Diamondback, John. Dino GT Pro Performer Upper. I like how it has this little bumper in the front. It reminds me of like old school galoshes or something. You got the cap on the back with the two uh, the fangs, it looks like almost, but that's the bottom of the Kobe symbol. If you get the socks that are overrated. The tongue is like this real ill slick material. You got the snake right there going along the Kobe symbol. But this shoe, uh, it's amazing, man. I, I love it so much. And I'm back into Kobe's. I will buy almost every colorway of this shoe. I love it. And I can't believe I just said that. You know what I mean? For my heads with sneakers, I call it. Not saying that boots are less important. You know what I mean? Shout the Dallas Penn Boot Camp Click Chronicles. Love it. Get back on them videos, kid. Arrow Poots, where's the videos at, son? Yo, man, I never gave this dude a shout-out, but Horse Eddie, love your videos, fam. I know, uh, I mean, I never chopped it up with you or nothing like that. But uh, it is what it is, man. Everybody else, you already know what the deal is. All my people out there. To everybody that left me messages saying to make a video, here it is. And my camera's about to die. Die hard, Bruce Willis. Um, but this is the illest, realest top 10 slash 15 you've ever seen in your life. Crispy Coyle. Turning men into mice, using a mic like a device, uh, pick on ice, twice as nice as anybody else, um, blah, 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 um, I don't know, anyway, DDT, neck breaker, fucking Jake the snake, he just rolled out, this is my top ten, hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, two fingers, I got a ton of shoes to review still, and I'm gonna get out of here, alright, thanks for all the support guys, please check out my Instagram too. Mr. Crispy Coyle. Alright? Peace out, man. One love.